So here's my iMac. It's uh, late 2009, which is when I bought it. It's now June 2015. It's a 3.06 gigahertz uh, processor speed. To be honest with you, it's, it's nothing special in the way of computers. Uh, I think it's, it was a basic model. It cost about it's over a thousand pound when I bought it. It's never been any trouble. I have uh, completely flipped it out from time to time with Final Cut Pro X and I've had to reboot it. But apart from that, it's been as good as gold. Never caused a problem. But in the last few months, uh, running up until the other day, what basically was happening was I'd have it on sleep mode, click the mouse once and it would spring back into life. You, you get a little buzz and it would spring back into life. Uh, occasionally it wasn't doing that it would uh, you'd have to click the mouse twice because the black if you click the mouse once you'd hear the buzz but the uh, screen would stay black and then you'd click it a second time and it would come into life but the other day I clicked the mouse and again and again and again and the screen stayed black you could hear the computer working and you could hear it running but the screen was black and I I took the screen out and messed around, pulled all the connections off, taking the hard drive out and all sorts. Nothing was changing the fact. I took the whole thing to pieces and put it all back together again, uh, thinking it just could just be a possibly a connection problem. But no, it would not work. The screen was black and that was that. So I decided I've got two options here. I can... Uh, have a go at trying to do a repair on it or I could just get rid of it and get a new one and I don't really want to spend out on a new one uh, this one has been so good I mean I do a bit of video editing do this that and the other on it and uh, it does the job for me it's you know I don't really need to spend nearly two grand on a on the latest one come out that's out like the 5k retina display that's the one I would get if I was going to get another one but I'm quite happy with this one at the moment so I thought well if it's broke it's broke I'll have a go at it and I've seen here on the internet the uh, graphics card the chip people heating them up so I thought I'd have a go why not I don't say this is the kind of repair you should be doing because it's not and I wouldn't actually call this a, a repair although people do it I, if, if I knew that the graphics card was definitely faulty I'd just gone out and bought a brand new one and put it in and I'd have been a lot happier the only reason I've gone down this route of using a soldering iron with a blowtorch to actually heat it is because I didn't want to spend the money and find out that it was something else and then just end up flinging money at different bits I'm guessing you know I come to a logical conclusion that it probably was the graphics card but I wasn't sure and without proper diagnostics being run on it I am literally guessing so I will show you what my uh, findings are and did it work and uh, well the answer simple answer to that is yes it did work heating the graphics card up with a blowtorch actually did work and uh, I'll show you the video then. Okay, so my beloved iMac has broke down. All I do know is there are three LEDs on the motherboard and LED number three, which indicates that the uh, graphics card, which is this, is not phoning home to the LCD. So. It could be the graphics card, it could be the motherboard, it could be the LCD, I don't know really. But what I'm going to do, what some people have done, this uh, little chip here, there's your graphics card right in the middle, that little shiny silver bit. I'm going to heat it with this blowtorch and I'm going to re-ball the solder. And the reason I'm doing this is because I've got nothing to lose. I mean, I don't want to go out and spend X amount of money on a new one of these or on a new motherboard, which is going to cost an absolute fortune, and then find out that it's something else because I don't know what it is, to be honest with you. 
like I say, there's nothing to lose on this computer now. There's no clear, this is what it is. I'd have to send it into Apple or a computer repair shop. It would probably cost me more money to get it repaired than it would to buy another one. I mean, I could get a second hand one for 400 quid. So I'm gonna have a go. And if I can solder this and re ball the solder, then uh, all well and good. And as you can see, this is the, the graphics chip card. It's uh, quite something, really. Very, very complicated, and anything on this circuit board could have gone. My screen on my iMac is just black. The computer boots up, it works. You can hear it working. I even got it to play music at one point when I just tapping the keyboard, different keys, and it started playing music. And it was like, yeah, great. So everything's working on the computer, just a black screen. I don't think it's the LCD. I think it's pretty much, and as this the LED on the motherboard is uh, pretty much saying that this piece isn't phoning the LCD. <laughs> So here goes, this is it. There's my chip, my soldering iron, blowtorch, and let's see what happens. That's it. That's our uh, graphics card unit all bolted back together. So, put that to one side for the minute. Now we've got to fix that back onto our motherboard here. As you see, it'll fit on uh, right here. So, This is it. And there you go, motherboard, logic board, whatever you want to dress it up, there it is, all back together and assembled. The only thing left really here is to plug in our heatsink cable and uh, we're good to go. Here you can see the motherboard is now back into position it's all the screw holes are lining up so that's all nicely in position and there we go uh, I don't know what else to say we have the complete logic board back in place the fan back in place this one goes to your screen uh, drive so now we're really getting into where uh, the power supply is going to go in here and your hard drives is going to fit in here so uh, I'll start installing them bits and this is the uh, screw that way. this is the hard drive which is a Western Digital 500 gig hard drive it's been pretty good can't complain. So, uh, I shall continue. So now we're getting to the point where everything's back in place. Just put the RAM in, which uh, come them down. Uh, the uh, power unit, the hard drive, the optical drive, 
the logic board, everything's back in place. Here's my iMac, I'm now going to press the power button. It went buzz. <laughs> now we'll see if anything lights up. I somehow don't. Oh my god! The actual screen has just come on. I am absolutely amazed that that soldering iron trick of burning, literally putting a flame to the graphics card, has has brought it on. Um, I have to swear now. Um, the screen is now lit up. No matter what I did to this yesterday, the screen would not light up after literally putting a flame and getting that graphics card really hot. And it was burning my hands that it was getting that hot. The whole chip, the whole board was getting hot. And the screen is actually lighting up now. Whether it will work or not is another thing. But at least we've got a screen on it. That's better than, better than nothing. It's taking its time to load up. I might just get a puff of smoke out of it in a minute. And that'll be the end of it. But <laughs> we will see. Well, I ain't going to touch nothing in a minute. Oh, it's doing something. It's asking me for a password now. Uh, I've put my password in. Uh oh crap, here it comes! Ah! We've got the spinning pinwheel of death going on up there where the mouse cursor is. The mouse is working. Oh, we've got a spinning pinwheel of death still. It's froze. I can't believe it. Let's see if we can do anything. I want to quit this Blu ray player, Lark. Open with. Preview. It's a bit slow, but. I mean, it has gone through a lot of trauma. Things seem to be looking on the rosy side. So, yeah. It would appear to be back to normal again. Now I've got to clean all my fingerprints off the screen. <coughs> and just, just one last note for anybody with one of these iMacs or even one of the newer ones. What I would advise, there's a little program out there and it's free, a little app, and it's called uh, SMC Fan Control. And the reason I say that is because with that little app, you can control your fan speeds. And the problem is, although Apple say everything's perfectly fine, on especially on these older iMacs, if you're running editing software and dealing with video, these Apple it was, iMats can get really, really hot inside. And the fans don't speed up until they do get really hot. And I think it's just a case of there being, the internal components are being slowly overheated over a long period of time. And that's generally, I reckon that's why these uh, graphics cards are failing. This computer's like five years old and the, the graphics card has failed. Yes, I've brought it back to life, but it shouldn't have failed in the first place. So, I never knew about SMC fan control until I would say it was too late. The damage had already been done. Uh, but now I have it installed, and I've had it installed for a long time now. And I make sure I keep my fan speeds around about, well, my temperature, because it wants you to. I keep my temperature of this computer around about 40 degrees most of the time. A little bit over sometimes, not a big deal. But 
I don't let it go up to 60, 70 degrees plus than what it, what it was doing originally before I knew about how you could control the fans. So if anyone wants to make sure they want to keep the temperature of the computer down, get that SMC fan control. It is an awesome little app. Anyway, signing out. Adios.